Hello, my name is Shotley, and welcome back to another episode of Supreme Royal Ultimate Roman Restoration. And in previous episode, we left off, we captured a little bit over here, and we did have a failed offensive on Nice, but that didn't quite work. And now I let the game run for about one and a half months, and then Germany decided to declare war on Poland. Which, sure, we'll see how that goes. We still are in a bit of a problem here. We don't have enough troops. There's an enemy unit somewhere around here. At least there was. Oh, and we're gonna slow down back to fast just in case. Now, that while we're recording, we got a little bit of troops here now, but not enough to do any attacks or anything like that. And our economy has pretty much collapsed. I'm trying to not buy too many industrial goods. I'm actually just gonna lower that so we're not gonna waste too much of our money over there. Basically, once we have the places repaired, then our economy should be okay again. But until then, we are having a bit of a problem. Now, there's half track inventory over there. What we can do is we can go and cut off their supply lines. They will have the supplies for a little while. I mean, if we press S over here, we can see the supply line overlay. There we go. Uh, we dropped in some supplies over there. Well, that didn't last for too long, unfortunately. Our colonies are giving us a tiny bit of supplies every now and then. Okay, so they are going over there. They will probably be fighting soon enough, but now we cut off that. So their supply should be dropping quite a bit over here. There's no fighting over here. I know the Germans are fighting a fair bit over here. They're pushing pretty far towards Bordeaux, I suppose. Oh crap, how are our garrisons doing that badly? Okay, um... Let's send in the artillery over here. Now oh, they might actually win that. Why don't we send in at least a little bit of planes over there to do a bit of a damage. Okay, well they didn't do too much. But they might have run out of... yeah, they don't have any supplies around here anymore. So we took a fair bit of damage on one of the artilleries here. We're gonna send that for repairs. The garrison's held for the most part. We lost one of them, but now there are our supplies there. Probably over there, because we can't see them right now. No, it's there. Okay. Artillery should be able to take it out. They tr uh, I thought they'd be clever, but they're not. Spikes artillery, we should... Uh, yeah, we'll be able to take it out. In no time. If we had supplies, that is. And our production is not very high. Of course, so if we were not repairing everything at once, that might help. There's probably a lot of stuff that we don't really need to repair right now. I'm gonna let it be for now, though. Our colonies are giving us a tiny bit of um, money, but it's not taking us far. The defenses over here are decent. We might need more anti-aircraft guns, quite frankly. Also, I suppose we could do a bit of a supply drop over there. Oh, never mind. Right, so this artillery repair. Now oh, there's a bridge over there. Let's uh, actually... Pause with the bridge, for example. We can uh, probably save up some cash over here if we're not repairing everything at once. Especially the places that don't really need to be repaired for the time being. The, these two, there's a lot of industry that does require to be repaired. And over here, probably the military complex doesn't hurt to repair it. Okay, so it's now down to 66,000 per day. It's still not great. It's better than what it used to be. Now they're trying to oh motorous engineers of all things. 
I was too like a fair bit of resources to build. There we go, drop in some supplies. I think one more salvo from this artillery is here and that half rack infantry is dead. And then we'll recapture that automatically. Oh crap, um... This one and entrench over there, and we're gonna have to pull these artillery back a little bit because uh, they are. Oh crap. That's another one. Third one. Come on, come on. Faster. There we go. Let's go entrench on top of that mountain, I suppose. Ah, oh, there we go, we destroyed that. Right, so spikes, artilleries, we can move down here, for example, or over here. I'll move them over there. I think they can do a bit more over there than here. But that marine is taking a huge amount of damage. None of our artillery is doing anything, so let's move in the half truck over here to give a bit of a hand there. So it's not wrong, well, it's doing a little bit. But this marine needs to go for repairs. We do have some inventory over here which we can probably move in down this way. The fact that we don't have practically any military goods is quite a bit hurting us right now. If we can keep on repairing some of the things that need repairing. Yeah, I think eventually things will turn out alright. How's the Germans doing in Poland? Actually pretty well. There's a doomstack going for Warsaw. Motorized engineers, supply trucks, artillery, motorized engineers. Okay, I think they'll be fine. There's some Panzer twos over there. Yeah, we lost a lot of artillery. Not particularly happy about that. And the fact that we don't have money, we can't repair a lot of the things right now, which is... hurting us quite a bit. We have managed to recapture some of this area. And we do have the supplies over there, so we can... Oh, is that, is that a couple? No, it's an escort. Probably heading this way. Oh, it went over there, okay. So we don't need to worry about that one behind our lines, yeah. Germany have today declared war on the United Kingdom, citing that regions unprovoked long range attacks as the cause. There is no word at this time if negotiations are on the way to end hostilities. Uh, I will support that. Because, goddamn, the British. So now the German fleet will probably, well if they have any fleets left, will probably do something with the UK over there. Okay, there's uh, planes over here. Not doing too great, quite frankly. Well, at least we've got some defences over here still. We've got another infantry that we could send down this way. I'm going to entrench it on the mountains there. But yeah, it's how, it, Italy doesn't have a huge economy in this game, so it's going to be a bit difficult. It does have a decent potential, but we are not even researching anything right now due to the lack of supplies. 
or well, lack of money mostly, but that is mostly because we don't have enough supplies to produce enough consumer goods. And that's kind of a problem. But over here, oh. Right, we got a tiny bit of money again from uh, one of our, our colonies. How, we, how much do we still need? Uh, 68,000, so it's actually increased. Well then, uh, but there's uh, some of these constructions that have... Oh yeah, the gas fields just went up a tick over there. Probably gonna take a while before they are ready, but it's getting there. So this one, no, it wasn't that one. Was it this one? That would be... I think 80 days for on full, so that would be... 32% of that, 65%. But okay, so there is... It's gonna take a while before it's fully repaired, but not too long, I don't think. Well, this inventory probably needs to go for repairs again. I don't think we managed to make any more troops lately, and are we not actually doing anything there? I mean, we could repair more of that, but I'm gonna send this one to aid in construction here. Because that has a lot of important stuff. Oil, energy, and industrial goods. We need all of those. As quickly as possible. I'm pretty sure uh, we do actually have an inventory down here, so we'll send this one north. We're near Genoa. This one needs to go for repairs. Oh, okay. Why don't you go forward? I know that you are a bit low on supplies, but you need to go forward. We're gonna have to send in more troops around here as well. Kind of an oblating armor there. Yeah, we are barely producing anything right now because most of our supplies are going for repairs or construction. Right, oh, we're actually producing a bit more consumer goods now than what we used to be, and military goods as well. We do need them quite badly. I mean, it's mostly because we can't build without the money, but we can make the resources. Or the goods, rather, so... That might save our economy a little bit. Oh yeah, we're going for full over here, so that's going to be quite useful. The lack of money means that we won't be constructing all that much. Well, I mean, it's probably going to change now. Yep, those went plummeted down, but we managed to repair something, I think. Not entirely, of course, but... Probably some broke somewhere. But that village probably doesn't need to take the resources right now, and same for this one. Because we could repair the agriculture there. And the industry around industries around here. I do want to repair these because these are rather damaged and I don't want to lose them. Because they are rather expensive so it's going to take a while. Not repairing anything around here but that's fine. Okay so Turkey has expanded a little bit. People are complaining about high price of uh, petroleum. Oh, right, the production values haven't gone up, they've actually gone down a little bit, but that's mostly, I think, because of the lack of consumer goods, so they don't, the population doesn't get all their demands met, and so forth, and that is causing a lot of troubles. I do want to repair the, actually, you know what, I'm going to pause at least one of these. That should lower the demand for the construction a fair bit. And we can 
and kind of focus on repairing the stuff that really needs to be repaired now instead of later. Some supply trucks, uh, but they are not all that useful, so we're just gonna keep them behind right now. I mean, they not as useful right now since we got the lack of supplies anyway. Later on, they will be. On the other hand, over here, I don't think we need to repair these two at least. Not right now, anyway. We can focus the repair efforts for these two, that'd be nice. Or at least some of the efforts. I believe we got some other places that are still being repaired as well, but those should be the primary ones. How are the Germans doing? Okay, they are having a bit of a battle over here. It's not going too great for either side. There's the whole part of Maginot line that hasn't been taken out. Also, it's still holding on. I mean, the Germans managed to get over here and then they haven't done much. They did connect the land over there, kind of. But the Polish are holding on. At least for now. Oh, we got another tank. We're gonna send you over there. Oh, the oil field over here is uh, repairing quite nicely. Once we get that uh, repaired, it should help uh, quite drastically. Well, not all that much really, but it's going to help a little bit. Then we can probably repair the next gas field, the coal power plants, and the industrial goods, and that's going to increase the production. Oh! Oh! We don't have any coal. Because of lack of money, we can't. Oh, or are we just. No, yeah, buy as needed should be plenty. I think it was just lack of money, really. On the other hand, we are at least producing a little bit of coal now. 15, almost 16 tons. Or 16,000 tons, not 16 tons. That would be bad. Oh, we're doing some research now again. Um, hmm. We are going to lower the amount of development to 2.5 million, so that's going to free up a little bit extra cash for other things. For example, buying more coal. So we can keep our industry going. I mean, um, yeah, we are having a bit of a problem with the... Oh, there we go, that... Probably fixed most of the issue. I mean, yeah, we're buying a lot of coal now. We almost shut that one down. Almost. So the industrial goods production is rather low. See, it went up now with the extra coal. Okay. Oh, we are repairing at least these. Not over here. I've got another half track. I'm gonna send it up there. A little bit extra troops around here because they have sent a couple probing attacks to through there. At the same time, we are trying to, well, defend mostly here because we just don't have the troops right now. But that oil field is, yeah, it's not that far away from being fully repaired. I mean, I can actually check that. Uh, if I pause that, six days away, we can repair it all every day, so yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think we can, but we can certainly try. And that should then give at least... Well, it might give a little bit more petroleum production. Probably not a huge amount. 
What the hell? Can we... Does it say how much? Okay, so that's uh, 3 million barrels per day. Oh no, that's yearly, and that's the same production on both of these. So perhaps it's not increasing production all that much. Well, I'd rather have them repaired anyway, so we don't lose them. Okay, they're trying to flank, and now they're running back. So this is the line that the artillery will be defending. That may be a problem. That may well be a problem. Oh crap, there's a lot of wind going around here again. I need to send the artillery back. Don't particularly want to lose it. And I don't suppose we... Oh, there's an infantry over here. Right, yeah, we did send this uh, from Naples. I don't suppose we got any other units that have been produced lately. Probably not, since we don't really have that big of a production of military goods right now. Um, let's see. Oh, they lost control over that again. So the Germans are not doing all that great around here. And the Polish have a pretty good carries in there and some artillery, decent artillery actually. So yeah, there's not really all that much going on. Although I actually wonder Saying that we have a huge stockpile of? Don't think there is. Uranium and maybe some metal ores, but I have a feeling they produce a lot anyway, but I was thinking about maybe getting some coal, lump sum of maybe hundred thousand tons. Oh, they don't want to do that. Never mind. Never mind. It's probably a bit too much. Right, so they are bringing more troops around here again, which is concerning. At the same time, we just immediately force it back. Then they're gonna try to flank through there, as they usually do. Now the S-35 is taking a lot of artillery fire and it's being forced back and going for repairs for a couple of weeks and then returns again. Because that's just how it goes. And send these three infantries down there. We have another artillery. Actually send it down this way. And send in the supply truck over there as well. And now we got a shortage. But yeah, I think the next episode is also going to be a bit after a bit of a time jump to have uh, the economy at least try to recover a little bit. And oh, yeah, we're going to send this one for repairs over there. Because there's uh, not much I can do without the economy getting back in order, and quite frankly, it just needs to. It needs some time to get the repairs done. I mean, the gas field over there is almost completed in its repairs. And there's some of this that has been repaired quite well. There's a lot, oh, right, we're out of money again, which means that we're not going to be repairing, but we'll be making a lot of money from consuming it. And then our economy goes back up and. Then we're going to repair and the economy goes down. So it's uh, going to stay quite low in terms of cash for quite a while. So I don't think I'll be doing much in terms of attacking until some like September maybe. 
unless the Germans do a lot, but I mean, I don't think they'll be able to do too much. They've used most of their troops in France already, and French. It's been mutual annihilation, really. Oh, okay, they get another strike there, but we do have the anti aircraft gun there doing a decent defense. Anyway, I think I'll end this episode here, so if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.